Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah, this is Analog Resurgence, and today I'm taking a look at Kodak's Color Plus 235 millimeter film. Kodak Color Plus 200 is a 200 ISO film that's available in 35 millimeter rolls. And this film is cheap, but I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that this film is a consumer grade film from Kodak. And that means that it is usually really easy to find and it usually only costs you a few dollars per roll. Sometimes even less than half of the cost of those higher end films out there like Portra or Ektar or especially slide film. This is maybe Color Plus's number one appeal because that means that it's a great film to just be able to pick up and start shooting and getting at there and playing around with film photography without having to worry too much about necessarily making every shot count because it's so expensive. So I got out at the end of August to shoot a roll of this stuff, so let's take a look. So Color Plus has a 200 ISO rating, which is a good medium speed and it lets you shoot it really easily. It's definitely a nice warm film, so it benefits a lot from maybe that nice afternoon or early morning light. So I would definitely say that its colors do tend to lean more toward the warm side, but not necessarily overwhelmingly warm. So looking at these flower shots as examples of a bit of over and under exposure, Color Plus gives you pretty nice contrast. So your images really are likely to pop with this film and not come out looking super flat. This stuff is really good to just kind of pick up and start walking around and shooting with. If you're after something to get you started and especially to give you that kind of nice warm classic film feel to it with those kind of characteristics, then Color Plus is really a good place to start. The grain and the contrast and really the color reproduction of this stuff is really just charming and I would definitely consider this roll money well spent. Now of course when we look at skin tones on a shot like this where the sun is setting and it's nice and bright then we do really get warm shots but in a more neutral amount of light we get some more accurate looking tones. This also applies to more overcast situations or mixed lighting. Things here don't actually look as overcast or as gray as they did on the day when I was out shooting. So the film does work well here to kind of give you good looking results even when something like the daylight isn't necessarily in your favor. Now Color Plus 200 is daylight balanced though. So it does favor these natural settings or at least lights that have the same color balance as outdoor lighting or a camera with a built in flash or just a flash on top of the camera. Indoors under tungsten or fluorescent lighting or mixed lighting, you're going to get the classic kind of color shift where things have moved more towards the greens or the yellows because this isn't really the proper ambient kind of lighting for this film. So between the contrast and the grain and just the overall warmth of this, Color Plus is something that does invoke that classic look of things like family vacations or just candid stuff shot on 35 millimeter. And especially because it's based on previous older Kodak films from the 80s and the 90s, it does kind of have a bit of legacy to it. And it's also so cheap. It's the kind of stuff that you can usually track down pretty easily, even in like drugstores or just little photo places that maybe don't necessarily have like a dedicated film section. You can usually find consumer grade films like Color Plus pretty easily. And they're definitely not a bad choice to pick up, especially when you're starting out in film or just looking to pick up something cheap and simple and fun to use. This stuff is also really friendly to put into 35 millimeter point and shoot cameras as well. If you're not shooting on something like an SLR. It's DX coded properly and 200 ISO is a really common ISO that a lot of those cameras will automatically detect and shoot and expose properly for you. Now you can overexpose it as well if you want and because it is color negative it will handle that pretty well. But honestly shooting it at 200 ISO which is the box speed of the film did give me really good looking results. Now if you want to see more samples off the roll and just kind of some general examples of this film as well as all the other shots from the previous roll review videos that I do, then all of that is available on the Analog Resurgence Patreon. You can find a link to that in the description down below. So Codex Color Plus is cheap and it's really charming and it does kind of have that old school feel to it that a lot of people really envision when they're taking photos on vacation or just when they're out walking around or hanging out with friends. So I definitely recommend Color Plus for people who are looking for that kind of thing and who are maybe not looking to spend a ton of money every time they just wanna shoot a roll of film or work on learning more about a new camera or testing a new camera out or just learning more about exposure and film in general. So if you've got a nice camera sitting on a shelf that's maybe empty and hasn't had a roll of film go through it in a little while, then maybe pick up a roll of Color Plus because that is 
probably a pretty good place to start with especially testing out cameras and just having fun with this stuff. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching and checking this out and subscribe if you haven't done so already as I continue to do more role reviews like this on specific types of films. And of course, if there's any specific types of film that you wanna see me highlight on the channel and shoot and kind of review and go over and talk about the characteristics and the looks of, then you can comment on that stuff down below as well as any other sort of video ideas and stuff that you wanna see me highlight and focus and research and learn about on the channel as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.